Before us stands one of nature's most enigmatic creatures, the Latrodectus, better known as the Black Widow. In previous videos, we've been fortunate enough to witness this spider's impressive skills, using her super sticky web to capture prey with incredible efficiency. This is her new realm, a habitat meticulously designed for a natural-born hunter. The terrarium, specially decorated for this video, recreates the perfect environment for the spider to showcase her skills, with hideouts, branches, and surfaces ideal for weaving her web and hunting. In no time, she colonized the terrarium, weaving each thread with precision and placing them strategically, a simple task for this nocturnal hunter. Enter the cricket, an agile creature with jumping legs that provide it with a great means of escape. Driven by its curious nature, the cricket cautiously explores the entire terrarium, while the Latrodectus rests, seeming unaware of the presence of this new guest. It doesn't take long before, by accident, the cricket brushes against one of the Latrodectus's threads. Instantly, the spider's alarms go off. With its considerable size, the cricket doesn't go unnoticed by the Latrodectus, who prefers to wait patiently for it to become trapped in the web before acting, making sure not to take any unnecessary risks. Pay attention to this moment, the behavior we're observing in the cricket, rapidly rocking back and forth in the same spot, is a defense strategy known as tremulation. This erratic movement aims to confuse predators and make capture more difficult. By moving unpredictably, the cricket increases its chances of escaping from stalkers. The cricket is cornered in a spot, and as it tries to jump to escape the Latrodectus, it ends up trapped in her web. A situation that the Black Widow, with her patience and precision, inevitably takes advantage of to capture it. The spider quickly unleashes a burst of silk, binding her prey to prevent escape. It's important to remember that spiders feed exclusively on other arthropods, as these are their only source of sustenance. A prey of this size will provide the energy needed to nourish her next egg sac, ensuring the continuation of her life cycle. If you've noticed, this Black Widow doesn't have the characteristic red hourglass mark on its abdomen. This is because it's not a Latrodectus moctons, but another species of Latrodectus. Although its venom is milder, its behavior is identical, and it remains a skilled hunter. There are over 30 species of Black Widow in the Latrodectus genus. When feeding, the Latrodectus injects its venom, which breaks down and liquefies its prey, allowing it to efficiently absorb the nutrients. Once her task is finished, the Latrodectus carefully adjusts each thread of her web, perfecting her home and making sure everything is to her liking. If you've ever wondered what the egg sacs of this spider are like, you'll be surprised to know that they are carefully created by her, thread by thread, with great precision to protect her future offspring. Next, we'll see how the Black Widow brings this incredible structure to life. These egg sacs of the Black Widow can house between 100 and 500 tiny Black Widows, or as we could affectionately call them, her babies. Each sack acts as a fortress, protecting the future offspring until they are ready to emerge and take their place in the world. The offspring of these spiders emerge from their egg sac using their chelicerae and a digestive enzyme they secrete to dissolve the silk covering it, allowing them to break free and begin their independent life. Let's not be deceived by the tiny size of these microscopic spiders, because from the moment they are born, they are active predators. Despite their small size, they possess an unstoppable hunting instinct, and sometimes even cannibalism occurs among them. From their very first steps, they are perfectly equipped to hunt, 
using their innate skills to stalk and capture any prey that crosses their path. But back to our spider, who was already fed on the cricket, we decided to test her by introducing a fly into the terrarium, a much more agile and difficult challenge to capture. If you observe the comparison between the two, you'll realize this is a true giant, the common blue bottle fly, Califera vicina. With its characteristic metallic abdomen of vibrant blue, this fly is one of the most imposing, known for its heavy flight and deep buzz. Despite its size and bright color, it's a challenge for any hunter, with wings that allow it to move quickly and escape. The buzz produced by this blowfly is so loud that the spider noticed its presence instantly, as soon as it landed in her territory, alerting the hunter that a new challenge was about to begin. Although the spider appears calm, inside she is waiting for the perfect moment, ready to act with precision as soon as the fly makes a mistake. The fly spent quite some time exploring the terrarium without any issues, truly putting the Laterodectus in a difficult position. It's worth mentioning that these spiders have a special fascination with flying insects, making their hunt even more challenging. Flies, such as Califera vicina, primarily feed on decaying matter. Their quick reflexes and sharp sense of smell allow them to detect food from a distance and evade predators. Their eyes, made up of thousands of amatidia, give them a panoramic vision that helps them quickly detect any movement around them. Finally, with a bad landing, the fly fell directly into the widow's web, becoming trapped. A perfect moment that the spider seized instantly. We see the spider in a much more frantic state than with the cricket, and this is because she had been stalking the fly for hours, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to capture it. With great care, she wraps her prized meal, which took so much effort to catch, making sure there's no possibility of escape. It's time to let the spider feed in peace, after all the effort spent capturing her prey. <laughs> <laughs>